Hey everyone, it's Tony. I'm here at NATO headquarters. This building right here behind me, covering the Leaders Summit. We have all the big names here, U.S. President Joe Biden, German Chancellor Angela Merkel. And I wanted to give you just a little sneak peek of what it's like being a journalist covering this event. But first, I need to put on my mask. So this is the media center. This is where us journalists come and we park all of our gear for the day. We fling open our laptops and this is where we work from. And as you can see, there are hundreds of journalists here today, but this is actually a much smaller group than normal. This event would usually attract about 2,000 journalists, but they had to limit the numbers because of uh, COVID. So there's only 600 journalists that were accredited. And as you can see, we are all working uh, at a socially distanced space. We all had to present negative COVID tests before we were allowed in. We're all wearing our masks at all times and uh, there are arrows on the floor directing traffic when you're on the shuttles which bring you from location to location there's plexiglass in between so nato taking very serious the covid pandemic so this is where i'm camped out for the day all right i need to go do a live hit so i have to go over to the location where all of our camera equipment is set up i want to show you what that process looks like live position I have to take one of these all electric shuttles. I am told that there are six of them running all day long. So I'm going to take one over and show you what the live position looks like. So it takes about five minutes to get here and then we are in the spot where we do our live hits and I'll show you what that looks like. It's pretty cool. This is the backside of the live position. And our little spot is actually located up these stairs. This is where we are doing ours from. You might recognize the backdrop from former President Donald Trump, who questioned NATO's very existence. Transatlantic relations back on friendly ground, at least as long as Joe Biden sits in the White House. All right, guys, that's the end of the little tour behind the scenes, what it's like being a journalist covering an event like this. And really uh, look at this view that we are doing our live hits from today. It could not be more beautiful. Blue skies, which anybody who knows anything about Belgium knows that that is quite a rarity. So in my book, it's a good day at the office. I'll see you on TV. Take care.